Last night, Jared and I emceed a latte art throwdown at Vertigo Coffee Roasters. A latte art throwdown is a head-to-head, -head, single elimination style latte art competition. There's a bracket that funnels down. The judging criteria for all of them are a little bit different, but most of them use some sort of aesthetic beauty, difficulty of the poor, symmetry, color infusion, contrast, those kinds of things. So that's what a latte art throwdown is. It's a fun, really lighthearted coffee event. Not a huge focus on coffee, that's okay. Uh, focus on milk, totally okay. And good times all around, and usually beer. So check it out. First pour is at seven. Who do you predict is the winner? Jessica Groza. Rule number one about latte art throwdown. Bring a friend. Hey. I'm living. Yeah. Um, I wear it because yeah. that's what's up. Head to head. Big rule one number one is clean your wand. <laughs> no, you've seen this before. Either here or here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty Hello? Custom <laughs> pitcher rinser box. Check it out. Woo! I agree. Met a girl, put a baby in her. <laughs> Hold his hair. Hold on. It sounds great. I think it sounds great. I sound great. Oh, that's um, Hindi music. I just came up on a gang. I was asking Jared before we left who was guaranteed to win, and it was Jessica. You bitches. We can talk to uh, Andrew Villa about this one. Is that bourbon bullet? I got more bloggers here. Look at the bloggers. She doesn't even know that I'm taking a She's photo of her. Blogging. She's vlogging. She's vlogging. Hey. Hello. I don't. I don't think. Wait. What's that? Okay, this is where things get going, but I just wanted to say that this is a judgment-free zone. Pouring in these things is kind of nerve-wracking. You've got all kinds of people looking at you. You're pouring right next to someone that you might not know. Usually the art that you do really isn't the best that you can do. You're probably, for most people, operating at about 60 percentile of what you could do. So if you see some stuff and you're like, what? That's not even good. Just think about someone breathing over your neck and like 100 people looking at you. No judgment. I've worked six shifts in six months and I've got pressure to be cool. Throwdown was awesome. Big shout out to Vertigo for putting it on. I love going to events like this because you get baristas from all over the place and it's a really good lighthearted atmosphere and it gives you that sense that you are part of this bigger industry and you're not on your own little island. Coffee people are rad. It's like a really eclectic crew of people. You got people from all walks of life and I think that's cool to get to hang out with people that are quite a bit different from myself and people that I don't usually get to hang out with. I have a lot of the same shots of the same people over and over and those are baristas that I knew. I felt really uncomfortable kind of sticking a camera in front of someone's face who was probably already nervous so if you're like I saw that person like three times that's why I'm like I know you I'm gonna stick a camera in your face not even feel bad about it people came from all over which was kick-ass the people from San Francisco Oakland South Bay Southern California all drive out to basically the middle of nowhere to do this and I love that about our industry people really 
activate, engage, and just have a great time. So if you hear about a latte art throwdown in your hood, you should definitely go, spread the word, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.